now that we have our workpiece turned down two ends we're going to put a 45 degree angle on that end with the surface grinder and I've set up the surface grinder with an angle vise and start the motor there we go Get it all lined up, come down to the touch. I previously dressed the wheel, and because I use a <laughs> because I use a VFD that has a very slow start, I programmed it for a 10 second startup. I don't have to grind the wheel each time I start the motor. Okay, so here we go. This shouldn't take too long. I'm just coming right down on top of it with the part held at 45 degree angle. See a flat developing already. We're almost done already. Let's see. Okay, a little tiny bit more. Should be finished very soon here. And there we are. It's done. I'm not going to do what I did last time, which was grab that hot piece. I'm going to get some pliers. Yeah, I burned the dickens out of my hand. Now you'll notice a little discoloration, but it won't hurt anything. And there's our mirror. And you can see it's already starting to be reflective just from the grinding. But when we're done, it'll, it'll really be shiny. Okay. Okay. First thing we're going to need is a stone. I'll just stone off the burr. It happened from grinding. Oh, and drop the stone on the floor. That's a good idea. I ground it a little fast because of the time limit on YouTube. So it kind of made a bigger burr than it normally would. Okay, so the burr is gone now. Now I'm going to dress right on the mirror face. That face right there. And the way I'm going to do that is hold the stone, put the part down on there, and just rub it back and forth. And that will remove all the grind marks pretty quick. Gorgeous. Very nice. All those grind marks are gone now. And it's becoming more reflective. Let me go now buff it. You go over and hit it on the buffer. And I see I've lost my GoPros. So let's take this one with me.
here's the buffing station and here we go a little bit of red rouge on the buffing wheel Before you know it, there's an absolute mirror finish here, as you can see. It's good enough for our purposes. Of course, the one that I make for use will be more correct. I'm just trying to show you how to build one. So. This first one is a little crude, okay? The one that I made for use was slightly better. I just didn't take the time with the stone to get all of the grinding marks out. So now we have this little mirror and we can shove it in there. Um, we just need to put a hole now in the tube. Let me get the tube real quick. Take a Sharpie marker. And let's just make a mark. If I put the shoulder that I left up against the end of the tube, I can mark the beginning and the end where I want that hole to be. Right there. Right there. Now all I have to do is drill a hole in this tube, deburr it, and we'll see how it works. How's that? Okay, I've set up my drill press with a 3 8 inch roughing end mill. Now I tell all my students, never put an end mill in a drill shop. But this is one of them times. Okay, so I'm going to position the end mill where it'll take out half of that brass tube. Just ever so slight and slowly going to plunge down. Oh, I'm going to have to clamp this. Plunging, plunging. that a nice opening has been cut right through the side of that tube this will once it's deburred which will take just a moment hold that mirror in place one moment I'll deburr this so the parts been deburred 
and we slide the mirror down inside and you can see that's going to work just fine. Oops, that's going to work just fine. Actually, it's not quite deep enough, so I'm going to band or belt sand just a little bit of the length off of this tube. Then it should position the mirror correctly. Now the mirror is in perfect position to show the inside of a bore. Let's go get a rifle and poke it down and see if it works.